Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a NYX haul. Last week I was in Livingston as I was actually doing my college interview and me and my friend decided to go into the shopping centre area and I went into Boots because I had a... Oh my god, motorbikes, please. I had a Boots voucher that I received for my birthday so I really wanted to spend it. Anyway, we went into Boots and little did I know that Boots in Livingston has a NYX counter, like stand thing. I did not know that, I honestly thought the closest NYX counter to me was like Glasgow 4 or like in the town centre in Glasgow. I did not know that Livingston had a NYX counter. But anyway, I know that now and I bought some stuff. I actually haven't tried anything from NYX before, so this is very exciting. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is actually the first thing that I saw at the stand and I picked up and was like, I need that in my life. It's this Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. Lightweight liquid illuminator that gives skin a refreshed glow and beautiful highlight. So this is in the shade Gleam. It's like a rose gold colour. It is beautiful. I will insert some swatches so you can see it a lot better. So this is in the shade Gleam and this is like a rose gold liquid highlighter. It is beautiful. I really, really love liquid highlighters. I like using them underneath my foundation. I like using them with my foundation and on top of my foundation. I just really, really love liquid highlighters. I just love looking glowy. Don't know if you can see that on my hand, but it's so pretty. It's such a nice color and it's so shiny and just can't wait to put this on my face. This was seven pounds. Next, I got some eye things. I got this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. You may have seen this one before. This is in the shade Milk, so it's basically like a white pencil. That's what it looks like there. Again, I'll just insert some swatches up close so you can see it a lot better and how pigmented it is. But as you can see, it is very, very pigmented and really creamy and buttery. I bought this to use in my water lines because putting a white pencil in your water lines actually brightens up your eyes and some mornings I definitely need that. Also, I've seen some people on YouTube use this Milk Jumbo Eye Pencil as an eye primer as well, like a base. So I'm going to use it for that as well. And this was £5.50. Next I got some liquid eyeliners. This first one is their white one. I've seen so many people on like Instagram and YouTube do white eyeliner and it looks amazing and it's something different. So that's what it looks like there. I'm just gonna do a swatch. I don't really know. Oh right okay so it has a very long like holder thing here which I guess is kind of good when you're doing like your flicks and whatnot. I'm gonna do an up close shot, but basically the wand is one of those ones that has loads of hairs on it. Can't describe it for the life of me, but it has like loads of hairs. It's not one of those spongy applicators. That's what it looks like, so quite pigmented. I am so excited to use this. I feel like this looks identical to Tipex. Like, I know it's not Tipex, but it just looks like Tipex to me. This was also £5.50. So I believe that NYX have recently just launched these. I could be wrong, but I think they're kind of new. These are the NYX Vivid Brights liners. So these are also liquid liners, but in bright colors. They had absolutely loads. So I just decided to go for my favorite color. I like if you didn't already know that. So this comes in the same packaging, a same long stick and the same applicator wand. And I'm just gonna swatch this. Oh, that looks so pretty. I feel like the formula for this one and the white one is very liquidy, quite runny, however that doesn't really affect the pigmentation, it's still really pigmented. I don't even know if you can see that on my hand. we will definitely be seeing some tutorials using these liners, I'm going to do a separate one for each, like I'm going to do a tutorial using the white one and a tutorial using the lilac one. So in my opinion NYX are known for their lip products, so I got four, and let me just tell you it was so difficult to like narrow it down to four. First off, I'm gonna show you a gloss I got. This is their Intense Butter Gloss. This is in the shade Trey Leeches. Can't pronounce French names to save my life. That's what it looks like there. It is very shiny, very pigmented. And it smells like vanilla, I'd say. To me, this looks like a medium pink shade. Like it's not too deep, 
It's also not light at all, so it's like a medium pink shade. This doesn't feel too sticky swatching it, however, I've just taken off my hand with a makeup wipe and it was quite hard to get off, so I don't know if it'll feel weird and be difficult to get off my lips. Next, I got a couple of their soft matte lip creams, which are also very, very popular. I decided to go for like a dark nude and a very dark berry color. I just wanna quickly mention something that I find really cool that NYX have done with their packaging. Their glosses have like a shiny top and then their mattes have a matte top. I don't know, that might sound really stupid, but I just think it's cool how they've done that. Anyway, onto the colors. So this nudie color is called London. I think this is one of their popular ones. This also smells like vanilla. When I'm swatching that on my hand, if I'm honest, it's not as pigmented as the lip gloss was. It's a little bit patchy, however, you just build it up, I guess. But yeah, that's what it looks like. It looks really similar to MAC Velvet Teddy or Honey Love. Probably more Velvet Teddy, to be honest. It looks very similar. It's like a Kylie Jenner color. So yeah, that's London. I feel like I am going to be obsessed with this color just because I really, really like shades like this because these go with every single makeup look, I believe. The next color is this deep berry color, which I'm so excited about. It is called Copenhagen. I do not know if I pronounced that right. Probably did not. And I don't know why they called it that. Like. What even is that? Anyway, I'm gonna swatch it for ya. That's what it looks like there. This colour will be perfect for the autumn winter time and I cannot wait to wear it. Again, it's quite like sheer when I first apply it. Not too sheer, but it's just not as pigmented as I thought they would be. I did swatch them in the shop, but I was probably too excited to even like pay attention to the pigmentation. But you just need to build it up and I'm pretty sure with a lip liner underneath these, they'll be perfectly fine. For £5.50, you can't really complain. Next, I'm super excited about this one. This is from their liquid suede range, which everyone has been raving about, as well as their lingerie range which I didn't get one um, from that range however when it's payday I am right into that. So the applicator for this one is a little bit longer as in the sponge is a little bit longer. This liquid suede one is 100% more pigmented than the soft matte lip creams. This colour is so pretty! This is like a deep pinky brown colour amazing. I love colours like these. This is called Soft Spoken. If I'm correct, I think these dry to a matte satin finish. I'm not 100% sure. It just says on here cream lipstick, but I think it looks like a liquid lipstick, so I'm guessing it dries to like a matte or satin finish. These are 50p more expensive than the glosses or soft matte lip creams, but they are bigger as so well. So guys, that's everything I got from NYX. I know this haul is kind of short, but I will probably have another NYX haul in the upcoming weeks because when I get paid, I'm going to probably go into Livingston again or just another NYX counter and spend a little bit more because I am adding to my kit. That is my excuse. And also NYX makeup is really good for the money, so yeah. Justification done. No doubt in my upcoming makeup tutorials, I will be featuring some of these products. So stay tuned for that because I will mention in those videos how I feel about the products actually using them as I've only just opened them. So I don't actually know how the products are, how long they last and just got an email and things like that. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did and please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.